In this video, we're going to be working on an HP. In this video, we're going to be working on an HP Spectre laptop that came in for no power. Big Boss already went over the board, and he told me that he found a very hot spot on the PWM IC. I work on those laptops every single day, and I never had to change a PWM chip on any Spectre laptop before. Let's take a look at the chip. He pointed me here to this chip. And look at this, I do see a burn mark on this resistor and I cannot make out what this resistor is. And I know that this is a PWM chip. This is the NCP8-1208. Right now, I do not know what this resistor is. I do have a donor laptop, same exact one, and we can get the reading from the donor laptop, let's take a look. Right here, if we, if we look at this component, it's a 2.2 ohm resistor. 2.2 ohm resistor. Let's measure the resistor on the customer's board and see what readings we get. If this resistor is blown, it's gonna read in the mega ohms or even OL. And right now the reading I'm getting is 2.7, so the resistor is good. Even though it looks burned, the resistor is good. It suffered a lot of heat, but the reading is still good, 2.6 ohms. So right now I'm going to assume the problem is the IC, and we do see this solder ball on the capacitor, and that's an indication that this area suffered a lot of heat to a point where solder liquefied. Look at this. Resistor is connecting directly to this chip and you see this big thick line So the short is likely coming from the chip itself and not from this cap I mean right now. Why don't we look at the board under a thermal cam and see what we have Okay, let's go ahead and plug that cable in I did not plug anything in yet The charging cable is plugged in right now And let's wait a minute Look at this. This area immediately went full blast from 0 to 220 in 3 seconds. I'm talking about circuit boards, not cars. So a short of that magnitude is most likely due to the chip and not that tiny capacitor. But we can start by removing that tiny capacitor and see if that will make any difference, then we will proceed to removing that chip. I just want to make sure that the problem is not the cap itself. It's easier to work with the cap than the chip, so why not start with the cap? Let's just leave it on the side like this. And like I said, I never had to work with this area on an HP Spectre before. So that's a new one. But thanks to the power of the thermal cam, where it pointed us to the right direction. Meter in diode mode. And let's check and see if we still have a short. If we do not have a short, then the problem is the cap. But I honestly highly doubt that the problem is the cap. That's ground. And you see, we still have a short. So. The problem is not the capacitor, like I suspected. Let's put that cap back. And we do see that burn mark here, you see? Right there. And that's the same trace as this resistor. So let's go ahead and remove this IC. And pin number one is from the top. We're gonna prep the board.
and just a tiny blob in the center just like that and now we're gonna grab that chip from the donor board and solder it on here assuming that chip is good from the donor board to begin with like I said I never seen this issue before on an HP spec so we're gonna assume the chip that we're gonna grab from the donor board is good I mean, the pins on the sides here, they look good, so let's just clean up this area. Alright, so what we're going to do is plug the charging cable and monitor this board under a thermal cam. One, two three let's see if we're still gonna get that big heat spot and that heat spot should be right over here and we got nothing and that's very good now we no longer have that heat spot on that shorted PWM IC and that IC is right over here I mean look at this right now I do see a white light on the board look at this and that's because we don't have a battery plugged in so the board is not charging anything let's plug let's use the second USB-C port and we have a white light so most likely the board is fixed oh yeah right there it's working great we did it so changing that pwm chip fixed the problem and we should have an orange light yes so the laptop is fixed and everything is working perfect let me cover up the user's info right here and thanks to our thermal camera that was able to pinpoint us to the faulty ic as soon as i saw heat on the pwm chip i knew that that was the problem because i work on h spec laptops every single day and i always monitor the motherboards under a thermal cam because a lot of viewers tell me or ask me how come you do not probe around and test voltages on the board and I always mention this, I like to work smart and not hard. Anytime we get a device in, any device, whether it's a laptop, video card, uh, phone, tablet, whatever the case may be, I inspect that device under the thermal cam before I fix it and after I fix it. I build a profile in my head on how temperatures should be like on every specific device. I work on HP Spectre laptops every single day. And every time I work on a Spectre laptop, I inspect the board before I fix it and after I fix it. I never came across a single HP Spectre laptop that had a lot of heat on the PWM IC. It's a power IC, but that IC should not get hot like with this laptop. Now, the fact that we had a lot of heat on this IC as soon as we powered the laptop on, and I know that this heat is abnormal on that chip, I start with that chip first. If I replace it and we still have the same issue, then we go to the next step and we try to figure out where that heat is coming from. I just want to make sure that the laptop charged up a bit to ensure that the charging circuit is working. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect power. And yes, the laptop, the battery did charge because it was dead before and everything is good. So that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.